Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, 1. Enhanced Edition. Let's take care of this because it's driving me freaking mental. Okay, um, tell me about yourself. I try to do this. Soothing a corpse's Can't have gotten far. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just. Who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see, and two direly wounded men who need it. I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation, but perhaps it's better off in the hands of an esteemed source hunter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death than I. So wait, you guys don't have any healing stones, basically? Hmm. Tell me more about the patient and about the patients. Yes. What would you like to know? I'd like to know more about Boris. I'm assuming he's the one on the left. One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business. Before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north, that is. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him. Nearly dead, but not quite so, and brought him here straight away. All right, I'd like to know more about Stephen now. Quite the venerable staple of Cyseal, Stephen, and recently blessed with his third grandchild. He was leading a crew of builders when a stray beam struck him in the temple, and only a few days shy of his last day of work before retirement, no less. Hmm. Nearly everyone in Cyseal is familiar with grinning Stephen. And, as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. Alright, about your healing stone. Yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot, Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver Glen. He is of a certain faith, the Immaculates, they call themselves, that espouses the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. I mean, isn't that... I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, leaving no trace of the wound. Needless to say, I was astounded. Okay, that's pretty amazing then. But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless inert state. It takes time to regain its magical properties, and I guard it cautiously. I'm ready to make a decision. You are? Oh, I thank you a million times for your help. Who have you decided should receive the healing stone? <sighs> now, Stephen is quite old, but he's known around town. He's a builder. He'll be useful when it comes to building uh, structures and whatnot for the town. Um, he has a family. However, Boris, I didn't hear anything about his family. He might not even have one. He might not have a wife. Considering he traverses the sea, he's probably just a lone sailor lad who's probably going to get killed by an orc, to be honest. Um, sure, his life has just begun, but... Stephen should receive the stone. We know full well the difficulty of growing up without a family. Yes. Let's return a healthy Stephen to his family as soon as possible. Stephen, it is. Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man, but my heart breaks for the other. Unfortunate. No, no, this is highly oh, thank you. What is this? It's lightning. I feel no. Um. Oh, dang it! What happened? What, what happened? 
Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it sends us flying into the stars. Alright, well. Wasn't done there yet. But, you know what? This feels good. Let's fight some stuff. Let's kill some enemies. Suddenly and mysteriously transport here. Do you know how or why? Your guess is as good as mine, my newfound comrade. Here I stood upon this tiny vestige of space and time, and there you appeared. Oh, I'm happy my head hasn't exploded yet. Quite good timing, by the by, because the ground here has been fast shrinking beneath my feet. Oh, um, but uh, I suppose I should make a proper introduction. Zigzax the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Attempting to avert disaster, of course. Attempting to prevent all that is from disappearing. And the universe doesn't disappear. That's not how that works. is the end of time did your heart quicken and your stomach drop if not they should have i mean well maybe in this universe it is actually time ought to have no end at all indeed i can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself but something totally utterly terrible has happened Oh, is it thermodynamics? Oh, great. Maybe we can convert source into a heat source and boom, we're golden. How can time come to an end? Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon to be terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. Okay. Quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Yeah, first then though, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this as well. I don't even know what these are. I'm gonna loot this crap from you, bud. Huh. I'm gonna take a pillow too. Why not? I can pick it up, so I might as well. What the hell is that? Oh my lord! You looked. You saw. Terrifying, isn't? What's this? The portal! It's... it's... <laughs> the portal has become active! Fantastic! The portal! It's quite sprung to life, just like the long dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? Sure. You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Does that mean I have to stay here forever? Those torches, a light, this portal active once more. It cannot be coincidence. Can we first discuss what we just witnessed through your looking lens? 
It looked like a stream of magic. Maybe that's the play takes place the thermo the thermodynamic heat that keeps the universe alive for now. Slowly dying. Um Maybe mana takes the place and it goes into that portal. Maybe it's kind of like a black hole. And that dragon is was flying I don't even know the dragon. Yeah. Goodness me, how right you are. There's so much to take in, I've nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. Oh, well, let's go fight the dragon. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. You believe we are somehow connected to this plane? It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. Ah, what lies beyond I cannot the portal? Say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. I can't trade with them. I would love to see what he would have. Through the portal, then. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. Wait a moment. I just had a thought. He just said after you. What if the two of us go through and then it closes and he can't come through? <sighs> if I'm the key, what if I leave this area? Is the portal going to disappear? Oh. You first, you first, but don't dilly dally. Oh. Yes. And he's off. It seems the imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Okay, well. Have fun, you. I'm going to take a look around before I uh, head over in that direction. The first garden. Huh. Okay. The Forbidden Zone. Let's take a look at the Forbidden Zone. Back to Portal. Teleport doesn't work, okay. And the same is over here as well. So let's head down here, I guess. This is Fog of War down here, I think. Yeah. Maybe. An active portal. Same here. Oh, I want to go through the red one. Okay, at least we fire, find fire arrows at the end of time and space and whatnot. Okay. I was, I was, I saw a log chest and I honestly was about to just attack it first, but that sounds like a challenge. I like it. Could it be, milady? 
the weaver of time, mother of history, author of all that has ever been. Perhaps it is, Dobby. Indeed, Sir Imp. As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? Hmm. It was a stone, a strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this plane among the stars. A stone? So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? New life? Did I die? Am I, am I, is my body back in Rivalon and I'm just in a new body? Yes, that's just what happened. Have you seen it before? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone, I now know it to be called. Okay. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? So that thing behind her, that's her tapestry, and she weaves existence into the world? She's, she's God? Like the stone. Your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Source Hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. What is this star stone exactly? Where does it come from? Star stone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Um, she must be like, this is where she's talking about. Maybe it's like these tears and whatnot on the tapestry. I'm thinking the tapestry is just it's supposed to be even, like full on even, like that, but it's torn here. Mysteries of all time, gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear. That Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Alright, guys. Yeah, to sit go ahead and save this. It's been great, really. So that's it for this episode guys, thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you all again next time.